Well, I do not know what happened to our spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise. It was turned into a cloudy, gloomy, muggy day, but it, we're back up to 73 degrees here on the last day of November, Thursday, November 30th, 2023, and uh, I have just been to hell and back. I went to the, uh, drove down to, uh, I left the old Florida. We are in Istachata, Florida. I have always loved Istachata, Florida. Uh, sitting here doing my real estate investing in the old Florida. This is an undiscovered gem as that goddamn hell on earth called Tampa. It's ever closer. Yo, you can find my video of Sandy and I looking for a margarita in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida during rush hour traffic yesterday. Why anybody would live in that goddamn hellhole. But I am back on Lazy Oak Drive. Lazy Oak Drive in Istachata. Uh, looking around for my next million dollar deal in the old Florida. And I just. I never get tired of these beautiful old oak trees and the lovely beat up old trailers I am going through. Where now I, uh, there you go, there's a fine trailer, that's what you need in your life, it's one of those fine trailers. Alright, we got a whole series of them, oh boy, you know. <laughs> But I do need a new, I do need a new camper shell, but I want one with uh, a lumber rack on the back. So I have been dealing with, uh, we're trying to find a, a sliding glass door to fit into a, uh, <laughs> a 43 year old single wide trailer. I don't know what kind of hawk we're getting. Led down Lazy Oak Drive by some big bird of prey. Uh, lazy Oak. So do you think these oaks are lazy or what? Uh, but anyway, it was a... Who are you? What kind of bird is that? What kind of... What kind of hawk is that? What are you? Where are you? I don't even know where he is. Where are you? There he goes. Oh, uh, well. Mm. All right, we have a for sale sign. All right, little dog, I need to see the... Oh, bush hogging, land clearing, and forest mulching. Look at this. This is not an old trailer for sale on Lazy Oak Drive. Good Lord, see this is what's happening is these uh, these old trailers are getting turned into that. We, we go from a, you know, third world uh, like shit that someone from Haiti wouldn't live in and it goes from that to that. You, you know, it's like there, there, there's no fucking middle ground. But anyway, you can uh, beat them or join them. So, uh, uh, anyway, so we continue to paint lipstick on a pig, but this is some expensive lipstick we're getting ready to buy on this old trailer door. Good God. What a, uh, what a trip. You know, just going down there, I am a, 
where I am right now is one hour from the Tampa airport. I am one hour <laughs> from the Tampa airport here in Istachata, Florida, and I am on another planet. This is the uh, this is is the hike and bike trail goes on for 46 miles. There was an old uh, an old railroad they ripped up, and it's now a 46-mile hike and bike trail. And it goes right. It goes from here to to Denellen. It starts about here and ends in Denellen. So I could get on here on a bicycle and uh, take a bike for 46 miles back home just through you know just absolutely gorgeous scenery can't believe the Greek columns on that damn McMansion in the middle of all this trailer trash uh, so anyway I have not had much time to uh, deal with the mainstream media news but I did hear the news last night that Henry Kissinger well I've been out painting lipstick on a pig we lost our old friend Henry Kissinger <laughs> uh, Jesus I think he made it to 100 did, did Henry just squeak by to, to 100 what a fucking loss to the planet that old fucker finally finally died you know my mother uh you know she died in 97 my my mother figured out i think it was probably around 1990 without even being on the internet so she uh what she determined by reading her tea leaves with no help from the internet my mother she came up with the uh, theory and this was 33 years ago that this planet is basically uh, owned by 12 men she said that a cabal of 12 men own planet earth this was 33 years ago and the leader of the pack was Henry Kissinger that uh, Henry Kissinger was the number one most powerful human being on this planet and I uh, I mean he was one dark scary dude but uh, even the most powerful man on the planet uh, could not escape the Grim Reaper so uh, that's all bid a fond farewell okay I love the name of this road new hope new ha uh, new ha uh, new ha uh. we're gonna find some new hope let's see we got this beautiful the new hope Baptist Church where the old hope has been worn out since we have no none of the old hope let's see now that Henry is dead and the planet has lost its most powerful human being. Let's start looking for some new hope. Since uh, we're fresh out of the old hope. Is there any new hope for sale? Alright, do I see a, a for sale sign for some new hope? Nope, we're back at the... Uh, we're back at the hike and bike trail. Uh, nope. No new hope for sale here. As I start my new life as a as a normie. So I'm a. Uh, it looks like. It looks like that hambone is finally going to have his first date 
of 2023. I am, uh, have a date on Monday. The word Doomer never came up in our two hour phone conversation, but she assured me she is not a normie. Uh, she had never heard that term normie. That one of my, uh, interests I had posted was <clears throat> Avoiding normies, avoiding normies and questioning the dominant cultural paradigm. So she, uh, <laughs> she wanted to know what the hell avoiding normies and the questioning the dominant cultural paradigm meant. She liked, uh, what I was talking about, uh, Although she'd never heard the term, she assured me she was not a normie. She has been questioning the dominant cultural paradigm since the day she was born. And she is not a breeder. She is not a breeder. So I said, I want you to tell me the one word that comes to your mind when I say Donald Trump, and uh, she said asshole, and I said, okay, tell me the one word that comes to your mind when I say Joe Biden, and she said president, and that made me a little bit nervous that she did not say, you know, zombie or dementia, but she got the Donald Trump one right. <clears throat> So anyway, I do have me a pile of fish bait. She has a BMI of 19. So uh, I think she has the same BMI as Dulcinea. Now of course she is uh, 16 years older than Dulcinea. So we have a little bit of a problem. But uh... At least she is an old, old lady with uh, an old lady with a BMI of 19, who has never had a child, and <clears throat> she was talking about her goddamn friends pulling their fucking smartphones out and showing her pictures of their fucking grandchildren. And uh, how she had to sit there and smile while she wanted to rip the fucking phone out of their hands and throw it uh, against the wall. She goes, just one time, I just want to tell one of my friends, I don't give a fuck about your grandchildren. Uh, <laughs> anyway, too bad she's not 10 years younger, probably no love affair. But anyway, I will have my first and probably only date of 2023 coming up on Monday. But uh, right now I am real estate shopping in, uh, in Istachata, Florida. We're heading to Withlapopka. From Istachata to Withlapopka, uh, where my realtor has called me with something, uh, some five alarm in Withlapopka. She uh, wants me to know about. So, uh, so who knows? And you know, I've been. I was uh, having breakfast kind of with, with an eight, 89 year old. I was having breakfast with an 89 year old talking about looking for love at age 89. And I said, well, you know, you are a, you, you are a young 89, <laughs> a youthful, a youthful 89. Yeah, I'm thinking 89. I, I I am halfway between 39 and 89. 
if I ever see 89 years old. You know, I, I think back, looking back over the years till uh, when I was 39 and how much I have fallen apart. Uh, I am halfway from between 39 and 89. Good Lord. Where the hell does the time go? So, uh, is, I guess it is never too late to look for love. I, I did have an 81 year old on um, pile of fish you know send me a little heart that she she likes me and I have to admit I I liked her profile so very carefully instead of saying uh, I wish to hell you were 30 years younger my response to getting this heart from the uh, from the 81 year old is that I wish to hell that uh, I was 20 years, uh, that I was 20 years older. But, uh, people just don't give up. They, they just don't give up. They don't know when to give it a rest. Uh, I'm thinking, oh my, am I gonna be driving around here looking for real estate investments? when I am in my 80s am I still gonna be doing this in my 80s and am I gonna be on pile of fish looking for a uh, <laughs> a youthful 85 year old now if I could find an 85 year old who owns this ranch here uh, I have been slobbering over this ranch so I, I first found this ranch in 1997 this uh, gorgeous piece of real estate look at these oak trees uh, man yep anyway see blue sky on the horizon so uh, never know what is just around the corner <laughs> uh, boy with all of my new hope I am back to bird dogging I highly suggest you get out there and go bird dogging with your new hope while you still can. Bye guys. Okay, little dog. We gotta find Withlapopka.